all the fancy signs and words, and yet here we are, standing in a moist, mossy dumpster. Figures. I take it you remain skeptical about this mystic. We've both seen our share of magic, haven't we? Whatever this is about, I'd say it reeks more of a cult instead. Yes, I agree. Although it strikes me as odd that a sinister cult would operate through something as trite as leaflets. Yeah, okay, but does this really look like a place of learning to you? Well, there is that thing. A uh, book? If we are going with the cult explanation, I would hazard a guess that it is a holy text of some kind. It certainly looks important. Hmm. Young master, is something the matter? Um, you'll think I'm crazy, but I swear that thing is silently judging us, Griffith. It's just so... Ominous. Nonsense. Perhaps we shouldn't open it? Please, young master. This is hardly the time to cave into trickery and superstition. <laughs> trickery and superstition? In a way, this is a quite generous assessment. I've heard much worse. Still... I cannot help but feel disappointed such esteemed guests would prove to be so close-minded. You must be the mystic we've heard so much about. The one behind the Enlightenment program? I know things, yes. Tis not a sin to share knowledge with others, my friends. I've seen much throughout my life, and seeing is believing. All gathered here in this book. The divine sum of my experiences, my personal path to salvation. I am more than willing to let others embrace these paths. It's magic then? To a certain extent. Meaning? Well, what you're describing or hoping for is spells. Potent formulas, yet merely a strain of a larger whole. I offer a different kind of insight. Your friend <laughs> doubts my words. What is it that troubles you, young man? I cannot help but notice you have a peculiar way of weaving words, Mr. <laughs> Bassanius. I suppose a degree of mistrust cannot be avoided. I do not wish to convert you, if that is what you fear. You are welcome, however, to study this book at your own leisure. It remains, all things considered, a tome of arcane power. Who knows? Maybe you can find something of use to you. Free of charge, I take it? Free of charge. And we can take the book, just like that. I only seek to spread my knowledge among the masses. Your call, young master. I am reluctant to put faith in this man, or his personal hygiene, but it is hard to deny that he poses no harm to us. Very well, let's see the book. Hmm, seems like a pretty regular book. Look, are those not scribbles? I wonder... Mr. Bassanius? What's special about this book again? <laughs> Kids these days. So gullible. <sighs> well, they're lost. <laughs> what the sh... Uh... All right, let's calm down. We can fix this. What do we know, Griffith? Well, I am no expert on such things, but it would certainly appear that we somehow got sucked into that book. We got conned after all. But why? What does he stand to gain from this? Ah, to hell with that guy! The real question is, how do we get out? Hmm. Hopeless, isn't it? 
I guess this is the part where we say goodbye to the world. You were supposed to disagree with me, Griffith. Well... What was that? It seems like the tome is not quite done with us yet. These conjured creatures, they cannot be real. Nevertheless, I think it is safe to assume that they can harm us all the same. Right, as if imprisonment wasn't enough. Let's fight our way through then. You see this, Griffith? More strangeness, no doubt. What may that be? Only one way to find out. What? How? But the only way for you to flee... Does that mean that you have vanquished the Grimaud's constructs? I think you owe us some explanation. And fast. Uh, hold on. I didn't... I, I didn't... It's, it's all a mistake. I swear. A harmless mistake. Villain! Even now, in the very face of your deception, you would claim innocence? Are the lives of those you lead astray truly worth so little to you? Deceiving innocence is one thing, but trapping them for certain death? How foul can one man be? The magic of the Grimoire is not lethal. Confounding, yes, but not lethal. The thing you fought, mere reconstructions, uh, pulled from the fragments of your psyche. In due time, you would have been spat out by the forces within. A little bruised, perhaps, but with a significant gap in your memory, but dead? No, no, no. Nobody ever dies. Those who come, those taken by the Grimoire, they return diminished, but that always subsides. But before their mind clears, you know, if they happen to be confused enough for me to willfully let go of their belongings, well, <laughs> too bad. You're still hurting people! Oh, well... There is always a certain amount of sham in shamanism. Those people I'm hurting believe what they want to believe. I can offer them no more and no less than what they are willing to accept in the first place. I do not seek them out. They come to me. What does that even mean? Well, it takes a certain degree of unhealthiness of the mind, shall we say, to seek out wisdom in places like these. I'm merely capitalizing on those needs. So you are admitting that all of this is fraudulent. You are not a sage, just a repulsive, opportunistic charlatan. You exploit people for your own gains and think no less of yourself for it. Is that it? No, 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 no. Well, kinda. Can we just slay him, young master? I am certain nobody would miss him. What? <laughs> I know you're not serious, Griffith, but your point stands. You are coming with us, Mr. Bassanius. As a member of House Lauren, I need to address this matter both personally and in accordance with the local law. Wait, 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 wait. Surely you cannot mean that. Let's discuss this. Even now, you would beg for a selfish pardon? No, no, no. I am more than just glib words, my outraged friend. For example, I can do this. More parlor tricks? He's gone. Huh. Must have been quite desperate. He left his book behind. Such a vile object. We cannot leave it here, young master, lest he shall return and continue his charade. Agreed. It's the least we can do. Pack it up and let's go. You've got to be joking.
<laughs> this is absurd. Pathetic. <sighs> well said. What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Surely you jest. Sure.
Oh, for the love of... Sounds good to me. For the love of... Wait, what? Huh? Does that make you mad?
Oh, for the love of... Ta-ta. Okay. What? What? No.
Uh. I see. Right. Good kid. <laughs> <laughs> 